Hello sewing chums, it's Diane from Spencer Rock Sewing Patterns and I'm here rather sooner than expected today with my friend Lacey. Well, last week I released a free tutorial for the Bummity Bum Bag, the little one here, which you've got absolutely crazy making, which is absolutely brilliant, thank you. It's so lovely to see them all on the Facebook group and on Instagram and there's some real inspired pics coming through, so thank you. Anyway, a few of you mentioned that you don't have a belt to thread the little bag onto and obviously for a while I wondered how you managed to keep your trousers up but then I also realised that I've hardly been out of elasticated waist trousers for the last 12 months so I thought, do you know what, I'll just jump on and do a really quick and easy tutorial to make a belt from things you probably already have in your stash right now. So it's great for use with the Bummity Bum Bag, it will with any bum bag or fanny pack, but also just to keep your trousers up. So all you need is a length of webbing and two D rings or rectangle rings. So the webbing can be cotton, it can be polyester, any design, any width. I must say I do prefer cotton myself, it has a, a nicer handle, especially for the look of a belt. But it really is up to you and what you've got in your stash but there's loads of great designs on the market. There's some lovely zingy colours and you will then also need two D rings or two rectangle rings and you can use either. And you just need those to be the same size as your webbing. So for a one inch webbing, I'd use a one inch D ring, one and a half inch webbing, one and a half inch D ring, etc. Even a half inch D ring and a half inch webbing will make a really nice belt. And of course I do stock nice heavy duty D-rings and rectangle rings in the shop which are perfect for this project. Just check out at www.spencerog.com and I'll add the links in below. But they come in packs of four so there's enough to make two belts from just one pack. And I've even put them on special offer this week for you. So I've got them in half inch, one inch and 1.5 inch widths in four different colours. If you don't have any webbing, by the way, you can also make just a length of strap from fabric as an alternative, just like you would for a bag strap. I've got a strap tutorial on the YouTube channel if you need a refresher for that, and I'll try and put a link in somewhere here as well. So here goes, the quickest make ever. Let's go sew. So I've chosen this nice colorful webbing today. It's just short of one and a half inches wide actually but it, it'll work fine. So I've got some one and a half inch D-rings which sit on there quite nicely. I'm going to use it with this blue bum bag. So first things first we want to measure it. So how do we know how much we want? Well let's wrap the webbing around your waist or your hips over the top of your clothes and I'm going to use lacy to demonstrate lacy with the unfeasibly small waisty. But whatever you do, take this piece of advice, don't measure your waist. I did it yesterday to see what length I should advise you to kind of use and um, well anyway let's just say there may have been one too many lockdown wines. So I'm going to use the dummy. So take your webbing, wrap it around your waist over your clothes wherever you're going to wear it. So obviously it's going to be longer if you want to wear it around your hips than it is if you want to wear it around your waist. So let's say she wants to wear it around her hips so it's going to be around so long. Add seven or eight inches on just to make sure you've got plenty and you're going to make a turn in at the end as well to neaten it. So snippety snip. Make sure I've got a tidy end at that end too. As long as it's plenty long enough, you can always shorten it later, you can't make it longer. So first of all, we're just going to neaten each edge, or each raw edge, with a zigzag stitch. So I've set my machine to a wide zigzag. Put my glasses on, I won't be able to see anything. And move those rings for the moment. And I'll just neaten that edge, you can go back and forth over it a couple of times. Keep trimming. And the other. I have just got a regular size 16 needle in there. You should be alright with anything you've got in really. Keep it tidy. 
take your two D-rings, decide which is the front. So I want this pink side to be the front. They're both quite nice, but I want the pink to be the front. Thread your D-rings on. So the D is at the front. Or you can use the rectangle rings, they work too. Just thread two of those on in the same way. So thread them both on, fold it over to enclose them, leave yourself plenty of room here. And then we're going to stitch with at least two lines of stitching or a box or even zigzag just to attach that into place and secure it nicely. So say, make sure you've got plenty of room there to get your foot in. You don't have to be right up against the D-rings. Leave a little space for yourself. I'll change that back to a straight stitch. You could zigzag it on. I've gone to a size three stitch. I'll go around it a couple of times just to make sure it's secure. Trim up. So there we go, I've put a nice box stitch just around there and I've been around it a couple of times. And that's my D-rings, two D-rings secured. Now take the other end of the belt and turn it over once so it'll be wrong sides together. You can turn it twice, uh, but it really depends on the power of your machine. So I'm just gonna do it once. Obviously I always work on domestics, so I'm always careful about how, how much bulk I get into things. So I'm just gonna turn it once and I'm just gonna put maybe a centimeter, three eighths of an inch turning on that. So again, I'll go across that a couple of times with a running stitch just to secure it in place. Trim up, trimity trim, and there we go. <laughs> That's it, you made a belt. So to fasten, you're just going to pass the free end through the two loops, and then open the two loops and pass the free end back. and you just pull that to tighten. So you can tighten it up, but it doesn't unfasten until you flip those loops up and pull it out again. So it's actually quite secure. It's quite a good, uh, it's quite a good method. So that's it. You can just thread your little bum bag onto there. So there we go, let's dress her up. Here we go, Lacey. I wish my waistie was like yours. So through the two D-rings, open them up, back through the top one, tighten to secure. Sorry, she's noisy as well, isn't she? And here we go, a cute bum bag and belt. Tray chic or what? Bob's your uncle, Lacey's your aunt in this case. With the um, free end, you could Cut it down somewhat if you wanted to you can make it slightly shorter once you know what works for you you don't have to zigzag stitch over the ends either you could leave that um unneatened and actually free it out at that free end and that makes a really nice effect too so if you enjoyed the tutorial today please do subscribe to the channel why not go and have a rustle through your stash see what you've got dig out some webbing and some d-rings or rectangle rings and go so